Hey guys and welcome back to the harsh and unforgiving world of post Phenem, where we are about to mess up someone's day. I think this guy here seems to be the best one for it. Okay, we got some stuff, but I can't get in there and get all the stuff, though we have three bits of leather. And if I come in and down here, we should be able to get a couple more bits of leather. That was mainly done for effect, I will admit that. Okay, another thing we're going to do, if we come into the basic tech, the thing we are aiming for today is actually power, but we've got a whole load of little things that we need to go around and tidy up before we can do that. The first, I think, is that we can maybe probably make this jetpack that I've been after for, like, forever. Uh, so if we come in here and just go, hey, could I have some basic gears, please? Of course, made with cobble and stick. Boom! Then with those, I can go to this uh, uh, conductive iron thruster and boom, I'll have two of those? I needed more gears. Ah. Alright, two, two of those. That that was actually what I meant to do. The next thing we need to do is, of course, this leather strap in the middle. This is achieved through two bits of iron and a whole load of leather. Now, the iron is relatively simple. We have absolute butt tons of it kicking around and then the leather just kind of pops in place the leather strap all right we are very nearly there getting getting quite excited we need an industrial capacitor and four conductive iron now these i keep all around here brilliant and hopefully we should be able to just come around to the um the workbench here open up the recipe give us give it a click and go oh yeah and look it is immediately starting to charge thanks to the power of the uh, wireless over there let's uh, slap it on and okay we're not there yet this is good can we uh, go for a fly out and about ah oh, this is nice very nice now i believe if we come down from up here oh i've got my uh, my boots on so it's not going to do me any damage should we uh, take all this off and see how much falling damage applies yeah no it does falling damage very much applies that is unfortunate but also pretty cool ah that was pretty good as well okay in the book we have finally passed this quest so what i'm going to do is take these electrical steel thrusters because if we go up and have a look here, you can see what we need is those electrical steel thrusters, an industrial capacitor, and some extra electrical steel, which I should all have kicking around. All right, and then if we uh, come over here to this little workbench that we've been using a lot today, we should... Oh, I'm missing something. What am I missing? Uh, industrial capacitors, electrical steel. I think I've just not put them in the right order. Maybe it's because that my jetpack is so full of fuel it doesn't know what to do with it. That right? Yeah. And you can see it's already started to charge and got a lot more charge than what's going on with the uh, with the conductive iron one. Okay, so that was super good. Yet another quest that we can collect on there. Uh, I'm going to go with the energetic thrusters. I, th I think I know where this is all going but we're not going to carry on down this route oh no 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 because it has opened up something in defense let's have a look in here uh, give yourself some protection by adding armor to your jetpack so we need to try and figure out how to make some silicon armor plating now I've not even looked at this so this could take a another um, silicon take, could take another jump at some point the silicon armor plating actually incredibly easy to make so let's do that we've got a block of iron I'm just going to break that I'm going to break them both down because I have awful amounts of iron. Like, like, just so much amounts of iron. Uh, we also wanted some silicon, which I just happened to have kicking around there. Uh, and now it was, I believe, something like this pattern and this pattern gives us a whole load of plating. I don't know whether I wanted four of them. I just got into the habit of making lots of whatever I need because no doubt we're going to need them later at some point. And I think, given the fact that silicon and iron is so easy to make, I'm going to make myself another half heart. Oh yeah, smashing through the quest today. Let's clear all this off my bar and see what else we can do. Now, I have noticed that... Oh look, we've got an unclaimed reward here. Uh, that is killing all these Endermen. Now, as I was explaining last time, this uh, farm that I've made over here is incredibly lossy. All the Endermen like to teleport away quite quickly. Well, it's not all the Endermen. I would say about a quarter of the Endermen like to uh, teleport away. And this has meant that I've been killing a lot of them. Uh, I'm going to grab a sniper cell. Thank you. And do that one. Boom, yeah. Extra hearts. Oh. A double quest reward somewhere along the line. Something else that I want to get into. Advanced tech. You can see we've got the fabrication um, 
uh, quest here that we did when we were dealing with the bees but we need to make a whole load of raw circuit boards and if we take a look raw circuit boards relatively easy to make as long as you've got clay click kicking around now clay is actually relatively easy to make if we take I don't know let's say two stacks of oxygen and two stacks of hydrogen we'll take this over to the uh, what's this thing called the synthesis machine and pop one of each in there this makes us a hydrate uh, a hydroxide iron sorry two stacks of hydroxide irons in fact now what we want to do is come over here grab oh, one stack of aluminium one stack of silicon gonna stop pop them up there uh, two and a half stacks of oxygen and the quickest way to do that is actually pull out a half stack through individual clicks like this ah, that's close enough and then two extra stacks and then we'll just come along and dump this all in here now this is the only time I've really found the chemist journal to be unbelievably useful and that is for making this particular uh, chemical here the um Canalite? Canalite? Can can yeah, I'm so bad at pronouncing these things, but it makes us all of that. And you take this book out here and just kind of pop that down in the corner. That was not quite what I wanted. And then you get a whole load of clay out of here. Now you can see I've made a lot of clay, uh, so I'm going to take a half stack of that. There is also uh, some other things we need. We need a half stack of green. Now down here you will note that I've made some a cactus. Now I could have made this in the silicon machine, uh, the synthesis machine, but what I actually did was have some sugar right here, and then I had a poppy and a poppy, and then through the, the power of cross-breeding we managed to get some uh, cactus greens. I've turned over a few of them to get going because that is what we need to do now what else is it we need for the raw circuit board it is of course some gold nugget which we keep upstairs now unfortunately we can't make the stacks of this that i wish to make in fact i will be making more uh cactus greens to try and make at least half a stack of raw circuit board because if we come over to the quest the best way to make circuits is on a printed circuit board you will need lots of these for creating circuits we need to make lots of them uh cooked board we just need the pcb do we Okay, a printed circuit board is, of course, a raw circuit board smelted down. I wonder if we can do this in the alloy smelter. Oh, well, I've been making stuff here. Let's gather all that back and put that in there. It does cook. Only it seems to cook in groups of three, though. Oh, and it does do the individual. Oh, that is so much better. Actually, this alloy smelter is one of the best uh, smeltery things I've ever come across. It just burns through everything and anything. Uh, and that is... This entire quest. Okay, I think I'm going to get the transistors because these capacitors I can make from my book. So, ba -ba -oh, oh, yeah. I am absolutely smashing it today. We are so close to finishing this basic materials. I think it... Basic materials. Basic tech. That I think it would be a, cl a crime not to go ahead and do some stuff here. So the first one is the studio production. You can see we need to make this uh, recording extra... Etcher. Record extra. Recording etcher. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, we need some iron, some slabs, some wood. I think I can go and get all these things. And, of course, a piece of our precious, precious quartz, which is not so precious anymore. The, uh, the gallium and arsenic that we got from, uh, well, what I thought was from Quest, it actually turns out to be from granite. It might not be just granite, it might also be diorite and andesite, but I can tell you that the granite is the one that I've been pumping in to the, um chemical decomposer and, and getting all the stuff out of so we throw these under here was it this one on top with that in there and then maybe these two like this i think that may have been the one we were after there that of course gives us this quest i'm gonna get oh let's get a quarter of a heart yes indeed he do okay the next one for this will be the video killed the Mm. Uh, we need to make a frequency crystal. This should be nice and simple. Of course, that's if I could spell crystal, that is. Uh, we just need a block of quartz. Just a block of quartz. That's all right. We can do that. And four bits of redstone. Let's, okay. Oh, thank thankfully, it's just a two by two. Uh, and then we needed four bits of redstone. And this should smash it out of the park. Okay, what's the next thing we need to do? No, manual submit. There we go, that's much better. We're going to get an alternative Rock X radio, which I'm not going to be listening to because there was only one word I liked there, and that's the X. Uh, and we're going to get another quarter of a heart. Yeah! All right, the beatbox is the next thing we need to go in for, and that is the radio, ye olde wireless. Uh, let's put these together, actually. Wh whilst we are taking a small moment to check things out, I'm going to pop that there, put this here. 
get these two together and get yet another heart onto our total. Uh, we, we lose them quite often, so, you know, it's probably a good idea. So we throw a frequency crystal in the middle with the same stuff as we did last time. In fact, a slab on the bottom. Let's collect some materials. Alright, it is our wireless. It plays some funny music for some type of music that I'm not overly keen on. Let's pop that there. I'm not going to turn that on, but we have it, and that means we have yet another quest. Uh, this time, uh, well, I'm just going to carry on collecting the heart pieces. And over at the uh, small station, we need the frequency tuner. And I think this is be the last one we need to do to complete this. Okay, first things first, we need to make ourselves another frequency crystal. This shouldn't be too hard to do. In fact, we have already done it. And then maybe we can click that. I do not have a stick, do I? That's always something that's needed. And I just happen to have one kicking around in my box here. Yeah, because where else would I keep it? Uh, and, of course, the iron, which I'd already thought I picked up, but obviously not. Uh, and put these together by hand. Yes, put these together by hand. The auto-click completion doesn't seem to work very well for this, but there we go. That's the next one we needed. I've got a feeling that it'll probably be better placed there than anywhere else. And if we put the torch back up over there, that should keep us spawn free. Uh, yeah, yeah, that should keep us spawn free, giving us just one more th uh, reward to claim, which of course will be another quarter of a heart before we can be like, hey... I do believe we have got all quests complete. Oh yeah! I can't jump and down, up and down like I used to with my jetpack on. Ah. <laughs> all right, guys, let's talk big power. But unfortunately, this isn't going to be quite the conversation I thought we were going to be having because let's pick one of these at random. You know, totally random. Let's call the uh, reactor controller here. If we come in, oh, you can see how random it is because I've already searched it up. Uh, but if we have a look inside here. Like, what's this? The atomic alloy? Where do we get that from? It's from the metallurgic infuser. Uh, this central processing unit, where do we get that? Well, it's from open computers. Uh, the power management device, where's that from? Well, it seems to be uh, forestry and things like that. Now, where do we find all this stuff from? Well, it is indeed... From this side of the page. So we're going to have to take a small digression, chaps. Uh, we were going to be doing this, but in fact, we're going to end up doing a few things on this side. In fact, I think the one that I want to get going for straight away is the metallurgic infuser. Because almost everything that I look at seems to require something cooked in this. So uh, let, let's have a look. I've, I've not even had a look at it so far. So uh, metallurgic infuser. Wow. Do I have any osmium? I don't know if I've got any osmium. Uh, but this basic control circuit seems to be the one that we need to think about. Uh, resin is got from crushing wood, if I believe. Yeah, okay. I can make resin relatively simple. Uh, what's the other thing? We did the... Well, everything else is simple. So let's get over to the B area, shall we? Because this is where we need to go whom, to... You use the fabricator here okay cool the fabricator contains seed oil now this is a little bit unfortunate because I need to try and empty it out and I have not made myself a pipette now if I just do that quickly oh not a pipette a pipette uh, we need a bit of wool and some glass pane so let's go do that very very fast bye bye all right, emptied that out. Lovely. We don't we don't need that anymore. Uh, you can see I've already been crushing wood for resin. I can't exactly remember what it was that I needed it for, but it, it wasn't this project. It was a another one. All right, getting back to the job at hand, I'm starting to feel that maybe we need to move some stuff over. Perhaps we need to move these over there or make the doubles of them. Um, but for now, we're going to go straight for the the business at hand. So we need to get uh, at least. Eight bits of osmium, two printed circuit boards, two transistors, two microchips, two capacitors, and two bits of redstone, along with a load of solder. Okay, that, that's, I mean, child's play, right? We have four bits of osmium. That's no good, but I think I know how to get around that as an issue. If we come down to my armory here, uh, I've been, oh, hey, I've been collecting osmium helmets, uh, just randomly off all sorts of stuff. I want to see whether this will break down in the uh, chemical decomposer. Uh, yeah, this one right here. A whole load of stuff in here that we need to talk about at some point, but no, it will not. That is unfortunate. It seems to be most readily available in netherrack. Okay, well, that's something we're going to have to deal with then. How much netherrack do I actually have? Do we have to go on a digging mission? I think we might do. I think we might do. 
With the power of the chisel, we can turn this back into ordinary netherrack. And let's go throw it in my thing at the back here. It will tell me if any new materials are being made. Much like the zinc was made and the beryllium was made out of the... Um, uh, what's the words I'm looking for here? The uh, alternative stones, things like the granite and the uh, diorite, those, those are all found. We're going to do a small little ceremony at the end of today's episode to welcome the new elements that we have, and I'll explain which elements and where I got them from. We seem to have a lot of uranium and einsteinium here. Now, what I want to do with these is along with the thorium that we have in the box over here, here. Was it thorium? Yeah, I'd like to make a radioactive box. Um, a draw, to be honest. I'd like to make a radioactive draw. So I'm going to take this out of here. I don't know if taking uh, the weapon off my bar was the best choice, but it's the one we're sticking with now. Now, where do we put the radioactive isotopes? I know that's not quite where they belong. And it's sort of down here or stuff like that, really. Ah! Oh man, we've already gone through a few uh, decaying stages there. Not surprised, really. Um, they had been sat there for a very, very long time. Okay, a quick sip of drink and osmium. Brilliant. So we need at least eight bits. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take, I don't know, some sort of multiple of eight. Maybe 32 as we have it. Brilliant. Wonderful and good stuff. Okay, the next stuff we're looking for uh, was over here I believe We've got some circuit boards and some uh, transistors but unfortunately we needed the resistors found right here which ah oh, is so much stuff I remember the lazarite the polymethyl uh, this is gonna be a while so starting to get all the stuff together, totally working on lazarite right now. Now the problem with lazarite, as you can see, I've got a stack of sulfate and a stack of nepheline uh, because I'm trying to make an entire stack of lazarite because I want to make an entire stack of capacitors. But the thing I needed there was sodium and oh my, so much sodium. Let's go and have a look over here. Uh, when I went and pulled them out, I realized that I didn't even have like three stacks of sodium, let alone the eight that I needed over here. Was it eight? Yes, indeed. So I spent almost all my entire time sat in my little cave under down there uh, loading buckets of water to then put it with the pot to get the salt now I'm not going to do that again because the bucket of water is quite useful for me but I then broke that salt down on a one-for-one -one basis to get all this sodium so every sodium you see here I had to fill a bucket for and I don't mean every stack of sodium every single bit of sodium it was like, oh man but here we go load of lazarite so after many many craftings we've finally got all the stuff together to be able to make ourselves a stack of capacitor the, uh, the hardest thing to put together there oh I'm coming in at this at a very funny angle but we'll, we'll do this the hardest thing to put together there was the uh, polymethyl myth methacrylate yeah, yeah, I'll try and say that like that. Because uh, you can see I wanted two stacks, because obviously making a stack of capacitors, we wanted two stacks, uh, which meant we wanted... Let's come through to the correct one here. Uh, that was six stacks of this methyl, methyl, uh, acetylate. Yep, that's not a mouthful at all. Uh, which, of course, meant we needed 18 stacks of the methyl ions, which, if we go in, meant we needed 54 stacks of hydrogen and, and then all worked all the way from back there. That that was a lot of work. Uh, the reason I bring this up is because we have a look at the metallurgy confuser and we go in here and we look at the microchip, which we also want to make a stack of. You can see there's another two stacks here. So I think we're going to approach it in a different manner. Uh, we're going to approach it with rubber. Now, I went through all that process of crafting stuff up when what I could have done is just put that in there and look, a whole load of it. Um, like literally a whole load. I didn't realize we we're going to get quite as much much as that. Ah, oh, glory days are here. Glory days are here. This, this has actually left me a little bit on the back foot because I wasn't expecting quite as much as this. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and make the transistor microchip transit. Let me go look in my chest and see which one it is I need. Microchips. Well, microchips. I want to make microchips. Stack of germanium, four stacks of copper. Uh, what was the next thing? And two silicon. This should actually be pretty much done now we've got those two those two uh let's pull this out of here we should hopefully have the um recipe in my book here we do all wonderful so we pop that in there like that throw all these in as well and we should just be go boom stack of microchips and whilst we're at it and on a roll let's have a look to see what we need to do for the transistors uh in fact yes uh carbon black is the hard one but let, let's just do that quickly shall we 
All right, so that's a stack of everything. We should just be able to throw this together now inside the fabricator, hopefully. Let's go and get all the bits. Oh man, now that is a recipe. We only need to put two of each things in though, because obviously we only need a two. I'm not sure how much solder we need, so I'm going to throw that in there like that. Is there anything we're actually missing now? No. So now it is just the time of waiting this out, uh, perhaps putting more of this spruce that I just got here into here to uh, squeeze down into resin, and hopefully we will get two of these out that would put us very much on the line of getting this done uh did one just fall out no no uh, we're waiting for this line to come down oh wow so just clicking the one no clicking the two actually did uh, all of this already that's pretty good do we i'm gonna take these back who knows where i'll need them later we need to go over towards not here but upstairs because we're going to try and put the put together this metallurgic infuser the main problem right now of course is having enough stuff to um, make an entire ingot of osmium uh, we can make the two that we need uh, that's uh, good that is good but we could definitely do with some more I've got a feeling at some point we're gonna have to go down and do a little bit of digging at the lower level so we get as much netherrack as we can possibly be get but uh, missing the machine frame of course Da -da -da -da! Metallurgic infuser. Let's go throw it. Well, I know there's some power here, so let's throw it there and see what we can do with it. Okay, I'm not entirely certain, but let's go through these recipes and see what we can do. We can turn copper into bronze. Okay, by putting some pure dust there. Biofuel will make some mossy stone. Okay, I kind of get what's going on here. We put our uh, plain type of metal in here, or uh, cobblestone or whatever it is, and we can infuse it with the secondary uh, item. Oh, wow, this wasn't quite what I was expecting and of course after a good look at the oh wait what's this after a good look at the GUI we do have to come in and get some of these uh, rewards I'm gonna go with the osmium because that's the one that's hard to get oh yeah and what's this one of these charge pads will allow you to quickly charge your batteries charge pad what I don't I didn't make one I really didn't make one uh, I'm gonna take the the uh, reward though i'm gonna go with the enriched alloys because these basic control circuits we have just shown that we can make charge pads should we go th th should we have a look see the thing that that we should have been able to make charge uh, one word pad okay well we could have made that nice and simply i don't i'm not sure why it thinks i did make it uh, but i'm not gonna argue too much about that i mean in fact if we take this no, I, I mean, I don't need to make one because we're currently being charged over there, surely. Okay, well, that, that's what we're going to go with. Uh, you're getting a bit lonely. Maybe you can make a friend, a little robot. There's a robot here. I have no idea what this is, but let's uh, let's get on with that. Uh, in fact, first, I'm going to tidy up my inventory, stop this massive long recording, because for some reason I just decided to leave the recording running whilst I was doing all this, uh, and come back to you with, uh, well, more of a plan of what I'm doing, and rather than just shaking my head up and down here. So it turns out to make the robot, you actually need a charge pad to place it upon, and making the charge pad is a mini-staged process. Uh, the first one we need to do is make some of this uh, basic cable, but you can see it uses steel, not electrical steel, not iron, so we need to make some actual steel, and I'm going to do this in uh, a little bit of quantity here if I can, we're going to get the 16, drop off one and do that, and then we just have one of those there, now hopefully this should all balance everything out, is that not right, oh, I, was, I was close anyway, we made eight, uh, then down here we just kind of uh, spread these out like this and grab all of this basic universal cable that is a, a lot of universal cable uh, but I want to use it to make one of these no not one of those I clicked too far down one of these boom I'm actually gonna use it to make two for reasons that will probably become apparent as we carry on making stuff okay the next thing we need is some pressure plates now I should have some stone just over here look no Yes, right there. <laughs> I'm on the ball, really. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six to make the requisite number of pressure plates, I believe. Yes, indeed it is. So then we can just come over here, go ha ha. No, are you, are you not? Are you not going to have this? It seems to want to have an empty one every time. It's uh, a little bit annoying, but we can deal with that. Charge pad. Ta -da! Now the next thing we needed to do to make this, uh, we could go put it on the floor, but literally all it does is provide a charging point. Uh, we want the ro. No, let's spell it right. Robot. Uh, and in here, you can see we need to make a whole load of a weird stuff. 
stuff. The first one is these two things on the outside, which you uh, may have noticed that we had made uh, previous. There is an energetic alloy, which we actually need to go down a lot of steps here. So we need to start with iron and put some redstone in it. Okay, we're going to be working through this together for the first time, people. We're going to take some iron, add a little bit of redstone. We're just going to do the one this time, maybe. I mean, is it just for the robot thing that we need? Uh, that's the metallurgic infuser. So with that and that, and that should just go all the way across. Oh man, next we need some diamond dust, which is all these carbon nanotubes. And I am literally not sure if we've got the carbon. Let me double check this. Yes, yes, I did have enough. Now, where were these going? Uh, these seem to have been ended up sat there. Uh, I think we put them here and that just makes us a little bit of diamond dust. Beautiful, very difficult to make that, uh, but there we go. Then we take this all the way over here. We're gonna dump this over this side and go, all right, off you go. And the next one, um, involves some refined obsidian. Uh, that is done with obsidian powder, which I don't have, and more diamond dust. Oh, wow. All right, so for the next one, we dump the obsidian powder in with this and wait for this to get all cooked up. Man, it is hot around here, but I'm going to suffer on for my art, or at least that is the intention. Then once this pops out here, we're going to pop that in there. Lots of popping going on all around and hopefully this reinforced alloy, we should become an energized alloy, I believe is the one we're after. The atomic alloy, actually. And boom! Atomic alloy. Alright, what's the next step that we are after? It is, of course, making this electrical chest which uh, takes a little bit of work, but we should be able to do it. We've got a whole load of steel. We want one of those basic com uh, components. We've got that and a couple of chest and a bit of glass a couple of chests bit of glass and just as I thought I was getting really close to finishing, we need to make this osmium compressor because it turns out there's no other way of making a refined osmium ingot uh, let let's have a look see what see what it takes. Okay, this should be relatively simple to make. I don't know how to make that, and I'm also a little bit unsure on the casing. But yeah, those, those, those don't look difficult. Bear with me one second. Osmium compressor. All right, this should be nice and simple now. We're just going to slam it next to here. Yeah, that's got power in it. Wonderful. And this even has a whole load of power in it already. Okay, so we want to take these osmium ingots. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, yeah, you can turn it into, a, into liquid, see if I care. Uh, and I've already refined some obsidian use, obsidian dust using the, the system we've seen already. Now, hopefully, we should just get a an ingot out of here. I'm a little bit tense, a little bit nervous about it because, obviously, this liquid osmium isn't quite what I'd intended. Ah, there we go. Brilliant. Uh, we need two of these, though. Come on, give me that little bit. I just want a little bit more. I, I kind of feel like I'm running out of liquids. Mmm. Well, I put two uh, two ingots in, but I didn't quite get two ingots out. Should we go see if we can pop some loose osmium? I'm going to take 16 out, uh, because if I can't put it in, I'm going to make an ingot. But I'm hoping I can just put some loose in. Let's, um... No? No? Okay, well, let's go make an ingot. Which obviously means we're going to be running at a constant loss here. But there we go. That That's that done in there. Oh, look. Funky little animations. I like, oh, I like this thing. Nom, 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 nom. Do you reckon he meant it to look like a face? It, it really does look like a face. Uh, not quite enough to make another one there, as we do know ahead of time already. Now, hopefully, if everything's been all done properly, and that doesn't include me typing this into here, uh, then we should be able to just go, ha. Huh. No, how about this one? Ah, no. Okay, well, we'll put these in and see what we are missing here. I'm sure there is something... No, it was just being weird on the click shift again. Uh, okay, well, that that's that. We've got this little row bit. Uh, where was our charge pad? I'm sure I made a charge pad. There we go. Uh, is this got power? It's got power. We're going to pop this in here and go, hey, how you doing there, little dude? You can see he's got a nice little interface here. This is how we give him um, orders. You can see we can turn him to follow me. And if we come out here and run backwards, we'll be like, hey... Yeah, little little derpy dude. Uh, and now hopefully, so this is the home screen. We, we've we got all the, these orders, as I was saying. We could use him as a crafting table, which I think is amazing. Not just that, but he has his own inventory. Uh, and back here, you can tell him to pick up stuff. There we go. You can pick up stuff on the floor, which is quite nice. He has his own little inbuilt smelter and an anvil. I mean, this guy is just amazing. Uh, I think we'll have a little competition for his name. Uh, Robit is obviously quite good, but it's... 
I don't know, not not the best for a little mini cyborg project. I, I don't know, what, what do you guys think? But with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time where we're going to do, I don't know, something with him. Get some more mechanised... Well, I think we're done with the mechanism bit. Probably do some more stuff in... Let me just click the... Please let me see the quest. Thank you. Uh, we'll probably be doing more bits in this bit. Um, more quests within this line. You can see I've got an extra life down there. I'm not sure which one we'll be doing. Uh, yeah. Bye!